o saca pato o saca tingong o saca katauhan Cebu Catholic Television Network Network sa INTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Si Buarch Bishop si Palma mo ay nangulo sa Katulong Adlaw sa Misa de Galio din sa CCTN. Puska ni Butyag ang gusto sa mga senior citizen sa dakbayan sa Sugbo nga cash ang ilang madawat inay nga ipaagi sa cash card. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, gipanguluhan ni Bishop Jose Palma ang katulong adlaw sa Misa de Galio nga gihimo sa CCTN Chapel, kaganilang kadlawon. Iyang gipasalamatan ang mga nanimba nga misunod gayod sa health protocol o daghan gihapon ang mitambong bisan pa man sa dili maayong panahon. Sa iyang wali, iyang gipahibugatan ang kamahinong danon sa pamilya Og ang papel sa usa ka bahan sama ni St. Joseph mato ni Palma nga bisan pa man sa tuna sinati karon nga kalisod og gangit-ngit sa atong nagian karong tuiga tungod sa coronavirus aduna gihapoy kahayag og maningkamot aron malabang sa katawhan ang kalisod karon sa panahon and and certainly he was saying even in our time when we are afflicted in many ways because of calamities because of COVID, because of migration. St. Joseph was that able and dependable leader of the family who would protect the child Jesus, who would protect the Holy Family from the ire of the king, you know, from dangers. And, and, and that's, that's true, you know, in many families. Even just the presence of The Father is enough source of strength and consolation. Papa is there. Yeah. Update sa COVID-19 sa Central Visayas. Ang kaso sa dakbayan sa Sugbo kagahapong Adlawa adunay tulo kabag-ong kaso. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang dakbayan sa Mandawi, way bag-ong kaso. Lapu-lapu, Doha, Lalawigan sa Sugbo, Pito. Negros Oriental, 18, Lalawigan sa Bohol, Usa. Samtang ang Lalawigan sa Sikihor, tulo kabag-ong kaso. Sa kinatibukan, ang Central Visayas adunay lay 34 kabag-ong kaso kagahapong Adlawa. Gipakigtagbuan ni Cebu City Emergency Operations Center ang mga representante sa grocery stores, ingon man mga supermarkets din sa siyudad sa Sugbo. Gitoki ang mga angayang buhaton, aron malikayan nga maigo sa coronavirus ang mga empleyado o ang mga customers. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Decime Padilla. Nagkanayon si Cebu City Councilor Joel Garganera, Deputy Chief Implementer for Interagency Task Force, Emergency Operations Center, Cebu City. Gipatawag nila ang dulan 40 ka mga representante sa mga supermarkets o grocery stores. Sa Cebu City, aron sila maandam, nila binakaroon nga holiday season, kay gilauman nga musugwak ang mga tao. Hinoon, mapasigarbong ipahibaw ni Consul Garganera nga base sa data sa EOC, menos ang insidente na itong mga nagpositibo sa virus, nga may bisita sa grocery stores o supermarkets. Nagpakita matod pa kining ang mga grocery stores o supermarket, nihimo silang trabaho aron batukan ang COVID-19. No, we receive we receive some uh, some uh, complaints nining mga groceries na to supermarket but it's not really that 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 much ba, no? So, uh, nami gipatawag sa lain, no? Nga wa mo attend ha, no? Naiduha ka buok nga mga supermarkets among gipatawag because uh, They have pending complaints. No? Sa ilang meeting ganihang buntag, gipaabot ni Garganera nga gawa sa pag sa ilang mga customers sa health protocol, ang ayan sab sila magmatgon nga kinahanglan nila proteksyonan ang ilang mga empleyado. Kung doon ay mga empleyado nga nagpakita og sintomas sa COVID-19, kinahanglan dayon kini kinaaksyonan sama sa dili patrabaho o ipaubos sa swab testing. Kami diri sa Cebu City, sa emergency operation center o nagtrabaho ganyo grocery o supermarket libre ganyan namo because we always look at it as an essential no essential na siya 
Amo ginang librehon da yun, and then ma-isolate na na nato siya. Aron, dili in town, maangin ang atong supermarket nga mag-granular lockdown. Tao. We will never allow that to happen. Gasme Padilla, CC10 News. Nasubo si Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma sa netabong pagpusil patay sa laing abogado kagahapong adlawa dito sa barangay Luok, Ciudad, sa Danao. Si Manlalaban Baby Maria Concepcion Landero Ole, sa kabyuda, taga Sityo Kamaligbato, barangay Tabok, Dakbayan sa Danao, ang gipusil patay sa riding in tandem. Si Ole mao ay katulong manlalaban din sa Sugbo, nga giambo sa kanya to Oktobre sa Karungtuiga. Sa tulo, duha na ang nangamatay. Matod ni Palma, nga tungod kini, kay dili man perpikto ang kalibutan, mao nga mahitabo kini, mao nga matang sa krimen. Apan matod ni Palma, nga dili unta kini, ang ngay nga mahitabo, tungod kay wak man gayod kini gitudlo ang pagpatay. Siya may dugang, nga dili ang ngayang patyo ng usakataw, tungod kay dili man kini mo isulbad, kung doon na may kasungian sa usak kabutang. Unfortunately, no, uh, this is part of, as I say, an imperfect world, no, people taking justice. And the answer kung ano man yun, no, but we pray kay, well, wala man o nagtudlo nga unta, kung may sayo pong isa, patayon mo na lang, no, or whoever ba. So, siguro pumalandungan na ito, no, so, it's still people nga makingon kita for one reason or another, no, but let's try to promote peace na lang, siguro, and understanding. <laughs> Chief Investigator sa Cordoba Police Station, patay. Human giambo sa riding in tandem sa barangay poblasyon kagabi. Gipatay ang biktima samtang nagsakay usab sa iyang motorsiklo. Subay sa highway sa may sitio Kalandos, barangay poblasyon, din natusak-tusak sa mga bala ang dughan sa biktima, hinundan sa iyang kamatayon. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Chris Ligan. Nalupog na sa karsada si Police Master Sergeant Eliezer Llanes nga wak na ikinabuhi tapad siyang motorsiklo nga gisakyan. Si Police Corporal Ritzel Abaw, Assistant Investigator sa Kurba Police Station, mingon nga duha kamata nga nagsakay sa usak motorsiklo ang mitabang sa pagrakrak ni Master Sergeant Llanes. Natusak-tusak sa mabala ang motorsiklo nga gisakyan nini o naglapos ang agi sa bala sa helmet nga gisulob ni ini. Matod pa ni Abaw nga labing minus 16 kamakabang sa bala o lang lima kasla ang nakuha sa napit nga natabuan nga ngit-ngit kayo kahine ang siga sa suga sa poste. Tunggal nga ebidensya dito sa crime scene uh, disisize ka fired cartridge ready for bullet of an unknown caliber firearm and two fired bullet of an unknown caliber firearm. Dan ko sa kapulisan sa Cordoba sa motibos pagpatay ni Llanes tuod kay Wakman kini musulti kanila kung doon na ba kinihulga sa yung kinabuhi. Dito determine na ni Dante amo sa yung Bayon sa mga pangitabo. Abaw si Lianis nga buutan o matinagaron nga pagkatao. Labi na kanila mga kauban sa trabaho. Si Pilar sa kauban ini nga mga polis, mi butyag nga nagpalit pa og cellphone si Lianis kaghapon alang sa online classes sa anak. Nakita gin ang cellphone nga gipalit ni Lianis suod sa iyang bag nga gibilin sa opisina sa nanggabihan kini sa iyong asawa nga may adto sa stasyonan. Chris Ligan, CCTA News. Giyolagway sa Office of the Senior Citizens Affairs kung uska dini sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo nga ang mga senior citizens dini sa syudad mas gusto o cash nga madawat inay nga ipaagi sa cash card. Kung nun sa kahinungdan at paminaon ang report ni Desime Padilla. Kahinom duman nga sa miaging simana gisugdan sa Cebu City Government ang pagpangapunapod sa financial assistance sa mga senior citizens diin gi house to house kini aron dili na kinahanglan pamugawas ang mga senior citizens sanglit risgo sila sa coronavirus disease kon COVID-2019. Moabot sa kapin 80,000 ka mga senior citizens ang nakadawat og 4,000 pesos alang sa buwan sa Setyembre, Oktubre, Nobyembre ug Disyembre ug gidungan usabang paghatag sa cash card. Ang Cebu City Government naging alayon sa land Back of the Philippines. Alang sa cash card, aron dito nalang ihulog ang financial assistance sa mga senior citizens o dili na kinahanglan pamugawas sa ilang panimay. Apad, sigun sa Executive Director sa OSCA, Jeffrey Ocampo, doon ay ubang mga senior citizens ang nalipay nga nakadawat ng cash card. Apad, doon na sa iban nga wala makauyon o mas gusto nga cash na lang ang ilang madawat. Parang naghan man sa intawan nga naglisod sa nga di nakawidraw, nga gamay ra po ng machine sa land bank, 
limitado ra pod so uh, mao na ilang opinion nga mapugos in taon sila panugo onya gawas pa ni ana kanang dili nila makuha ang tibok nga kwarta kay kung ilang kuhaon siguro mag, mag over the counter sila pero on their part murag maglisod na sila labi, labi na sa karong panahon na so ang ilang harigod is maasla masugo nga tawo nga ilang pawidrohon silang kwarta onya muhatag mo sila ni ana og uh, pahalipay Kadaghanan matun pa sa senior citizens maglisod og withdraw ug mas ganahan sila ni atong tradisyonal nga pamaagi kun diin cash nang ilang makuha. When once manormalize na ang tanan adto ta sa gym o sar gitag adlaw mahatag. No, sa so tungod lang sa sitwasyon nung lisod jud kay tanan. Pero naa lagi nagsagol-sagol ay lang mga opinion nga sir ganahan gyud mister tibuok nga kwarta gyud amo dawat ni kwarta gyud. Oy iban oh. Sairan nga magamit ang cash card sa sunod pa nga pagpanghatag sa financial assistance sa mga senior citizens nga may tabo sunod tuig. Desmay Padilla, CCTV News. Mao kan to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat. Coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin, may he be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. 
Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O oh God, with your judgment endow the King and with your justice the King's Son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, and but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from all their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore his son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mula hang biernes karatong tanan. 
One very significant detail of the many beautiful dimensions of today's gospel reading is on the fulfillment of what the prophet Isaiah once said or prophesied about a virgin being with a child, bearing a son, and giving him birth, and he shall be named Emmanuel. Many years ago, I remember a very interesting discussion of a good friend. May God bless his soul. And he was actually questioning me uh, like this. Father, why is the name of the Messiah, Jesus, not Emmanuel? Di ba? He is supposed to be the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah, that his name shall be called Emmanuel. But why is he named Jesus? And then one interesting thing came to my mind. Maragnindot kayo ng diskasyonan kay because of course now we were talking about names and the significance of names, and so I came up with an, an, a, a straight uh, forward answer that Emmanuel, if we try to take a look into the meaning, you no, know, God is with us, and that is basically how God reveals Himself. The season of Advent actually reminds us that after He has come as was predicted or prophesied by the prophets, he already, has, he already went back to the Father, but still promised to come again. But as St. Bernard would say, there is an intermediate coming in the many different ways that we experience him. So that is what Emmanuel is. There are many different aspects and experiences addressed by that presence of God in our lives. But Jesus is a specific experience and definition of that presence because Jesus means Savior. So these are so many things that we consider in our lives. Daghan kayong paagi nga ang Diyos masinati nato. But the most important presence of, that, of God in our lives is saving us from so many different reasons and concerns as well. And so the name Jesus always shines through, no? because that presence is not just some presence that comes with you, goes with you, speaks with you in your prayer, and sometimes even show himself in your dreams, in our dreams, but it is really the salvation, the salvific dimension of God's coming into our lives. And so he does save us from so many different things. And as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, and as we deepen our experience of Advent, may this saving presence be always not just at the doorsteps of our homes, but really from the heart and to the world wide, to the world which is actually all over us and around us. That means God's salvation is overwhelming only and only if we recognize and experience it. Amen. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, in union with St. Joseph, the man of great faith, let us make our prayers together as God's family to the true Father of all, as we say, Father of all, bless us. Father of all, bless us. that the Pope, bishops, priests, and consecrated men may, like St. Joseph, mirror God's love by their fatherly care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That government officials, like St. Joseph, may be sensitive and discerning of God's plan as it unfolds in the day-to-day -day events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That fathers, may show special love and concern for their families through their diligence and edifying life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That those who are undergoing crisis in their personal and family life may have the hope and faith of Saint Joseph. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of all, bless us. That through the intercession of Saint Joseph, the dying may find consolation in their last hours. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, 
says us that in this year proclaimed as the year of St. Joseph, we may be able to feel and experience his fatherly care and at the same time become messengers and sharers of this fatherly love to our brothers and sisters, especially those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of all, bless us. O Lord, help us to be united as one family under your fatherhood. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of him for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, may he cause acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptizer sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with me to fill his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory of your God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption through Christ our Lord. O Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. 
Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words, only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings, that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Señor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations, in hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials, in the failure of our plans and hopes, in disappointments, troubles, and sorrows, when others fail us and your grace alone can assist us, when we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge, when our heart is cast down by failure, when we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely, when we feel impatient and our cross irritates us, always, always in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind, let us pray. O Santo Nino, who has said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we beseech you, to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O miraculous Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so inclined to pity be softened at our prayers and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Signor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Raphael the Archangel, Saint Joseph, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calongson. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 